all right so we will look into page object design pattern and implement that in our existing framework so what is page object design pattern let me first give you an example out of it so here if we land in our e-commerce page basically there are four pages right now this is a home page and this is products page and if you select any item this will be checkout page this is what we did till now right so basically in page object design pattern we we collect objects from uh, one specific page and we will write them in one specific class so let's say if there are four pages in our application that means we create four different files and objects belonging to this home page will go into the home file when i say file we need to create class javascript class and we declare all the page objects in that now this is the products page so any object whatever you are trying to grab from this page we will consolidate and put it in one separate class by defining that as products class so in this way if we segregate and place the objects in different files based upon their pages okay tomorrow if i want to change the checkout button if i dump all the page objects in one single file i need to check out my whole file to see where exactly checkout button is located but whereas in page object model as we are writing all the objects belonging to that specific page into one separate class i can only look for products class where exactly it is located and in that class i will definitely find this because that's how i am maintaining so instead of looking in all different files you can directly find it out now you add the items in the product and move to the checkout page so you want to handle this continue shopping button okay let's say this button got changed tomorrow so now if you simply come to this checkout page and if you update that button that should reflect all your test cases so that you know main from maintenance perspective it should be so simple so declare all your page objects in separate classes based upon the pages and all your test cases should access those page objects from that classes okay so that your objects are now centralized and it will refer to in all test cases so tomorrow if this button object changed you can update this in your page object file so that it should be automatically updated in all test cases and it should work okay so that's what page object says but let's do a practical scenario to understand more about this so in the integration folder itself i will create a new folder called page objects okay this is examples folder under this i will create new folder called page objects as i told for each and every page we will create one file and we will dump all the objects belonging to that specific page into the class so first let me create home page home page dot js so basically we need to declare a class name so how to declare and write class in javascript it's very simple class home page that's it after this if you want to expose this class so basically what all objects you define here if you want to make them available to all your other files in your framework you have to say export default home page so if you give export keyword javascript will make sure to make this class available to all other files in your framework that's the concept okay now 
we have written a basic template of home page now all the objects whatever you get it here we will simply place in this particular home page that belongs to this specific page only we will not touch again anything about this shop page okay test framework yeah so this is to enter edit box right so let me take this part get edit box I'll declare a method like this and I will simply write that object what I am looking for and I will add return keyword so that when I call this method this particular locator will get written so now going forward wherever you use this edit box locator in your test all your test cases should use this method only so that tomorrow if this locator changes if you update here it should automatically reflect in all your test cases so that's why we are centralizing this page objects and forcing all our test cases to access page of uh, access these objects from this classes file only email it's very simple you know um, this is like another edit box right we call it as two-way data binding and that's what this edit box is so let me say get two-way data binding nice we also saw about select keyword so get gender give some meaningful name to your method so that you can remember and use it effectively in your test so it should be more readable now Okay, so what else we have? We have given two-way data binding, edit boxes, um, drop down, and this one is about data binding, which we already gave. So there is one more, which is radio button. And this radio button is also the specific one not just a generic radio button it's an entrepreneur radio button so get enter i am poor at spellings <laughs> okay so get entrepreneur all right there is one more left which is to click on the shop button so let's do that and with this we are going to wrap creating page object file for our home page get shop tab perfect so firstly let's modify now our test accordingly based upon our home page objects so make sure you export this home page so that it will be available to all your other files so once you export here now you can actually need to import so once you just told that hey this is the class where you can use it and now you can explicitly tell that i need to use it so that you can tell by simply importing that into your test okay so you might get a question that earlier I wrote in commands.js regarding my customized command and then I also have used fixtures example.json but I have never used importing those files into this so I press automatically got knowledge why because these are given by Cypress okay Cypress is giving you a framework support by providing you the knowledge of support folder fixtures plugins everything but whatever we written now is a home page class which is not related to cypress this is one of the design pattern we want to bring into our framework 
but this has nothing to do with Cypress. Cypress by default is not giving you any page object pattern. So that's the reason we have to export and import manually just like how we do for any other JavaScript file. So now you might appreciate the fixtures and plugins. Okay, we need not handle any export and import headache there. Good that Cypress providing all those features. Now for this JavaScript file what we created in page objects folder, you need to import that. So import statement basically whatever you exported you exported home page class name right so then you need to say import home page from you give dot dot slash so that it comes to your parent folder level and you will prompt it with page objects page objects slash home page okay make sure you give dot dot slash so that your control moves from test 8 framework to your parent here. Let me close this integration. So under integration you have page objects right. So again you will go to slash page objects. Basically with this keyword you are navigating to parent. From parent you are going to its sibling. That's the concept okay. Nice. So we have successfully imported him home page which got exported by its class. Now it's time to create object for that page. See that you need to do all this because this is not provided by Cypress. Okay. So how do you create object for your class using JavaScript? So it's very simple again. You need to just allocate a memory allocator operator which is new and whatever you imported here home page right so new home page that will create object so you can store that object in variable saying const home page that's it okay so you have successfully created object for your class so three things you need to remember here first create class and declare all the page objects and make sure you export it once you export you also make sure you import it again into your test and after import you create object for that class with the import keyword okay now this object have the knowledge of pulling all your methods present in the home page class right so in the next lecture, we will bring all the methods and replace our existing page objects. Okay. Thank you.